everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Two quarterbacks of the defense will be counted on to lead their teams here today. It's Keekley's Panthers going up against Bowman's 49ers. With that, it's time to hook up with our commentators in the booth as we turn it over to Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Larry, we are down the peninsula from San Francisco as you get a look inside modern Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Levi Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was deafening. They're set for football as the 49ers get ready to do battle with the Carolina Panthers. And hi again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and you know, Charles, as we count out a kickoff here, normally we look at quarterbacks or running backs in the open. We had a look a second ago at the linebacker comparison, and you think it's well justified. I love it because they're the guys who control the game from the middle on defense. They're the signal callers. They're also the guys that you count on stuffing the run game with great tackling, but they have to be agile in today's football, being able to drop into coverage or even cover running backs in man-to-man. -man. The kicker, Graham Gano, set to put his foot into this one, and we are underway from Santa Clara. This is taken about seven yards deep. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. This is Brian Hoyer leading him out there, a ninth-year quarterback from Michigan State. Played a very run-heavy offense at Michigan State. Really wasn't allowed to be a featured passer, but really worked hard in the NFL. Undrafted as a free agent, found his way in the league, and continued to get better and better. A 16-15 and 15 career record as a starter heading into 2017. Hoyer. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And a quick look now at the offense for the 49ers. Head coach Kyle Shanahan will bring a brand new look to the offense for San Francisco in 2017. They will rely much more on a zone blocking scheme, better timing patterns downfield, and a quarterback has some mobility both in and out of the pocket in order to try and improve on a 31st ranking in 2016. The play fake to Hyde. Now it's Hoyer. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Thomas Davis, the outside linebacker, drops him for a loss of six. Look, Carolina had a number of issues last year, and that's why they slumped to 6-10 and 10 after a Super Bowl appearance. But pass rush wasn't a problem for them. They still got to the quarterback. 47 total sacks. That was just one behind Arizona, who led the league. Yeah, I think the biggest issue for them, young corners that gave up a lot of big plays. Three and out, a real danger here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 12. Let's go! Green, 39! Now Hoyer. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A big 30-yard play on third. General consensus that Brian Hoyer was acquired by San Francisco to be a one-year solution at quarterback. I know Brian, he looks at it as a long-term solution. He wants to complete passes like that and say, I'm no stopgap, I'm here to stay, right? So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. 
And the starting defense here for the Panthers. When I saw that the Carolina Panthers were ranked 21st in total defense in 2016, I thought it was a misprint. This is a very talented defense, but they didn't play up to those standards in 2016. Perhaps the loss of Josh Norman at corner hurt them in the secondary. Luke Keekley, their middle linebacker and their heart and soul of their defense, wasn't able to play a complete season, and they didn't get the same pass rush in 2016 that they had in the previous year when they went to the Super Bowl. the shotgun he'll look to throw he gets this one to Garcon Hoyer finding Garcon there for the 49er first down how about the start throwing the football four for four on this opening drive oh he's slinging it and oftentimes when you talk about slinging it you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard not necessarily accurately in this case though he's honing in on his targets and he's delivering yeah the opening script however they drew it up for this first drive going to plan so far so here we go, first and ten now. First carry for Carlos Hyde. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Charles Johnson's stock in trade is coming off the edge and getting to the quarterback. But he knows how to make some of those subtle moves inside to help in the run game, and he did it right there. He's an athlete back in high school, played football, basketball, track, so he's a mobile guy. Mobile guy made a nice play against the run. Tight, tight. Tight. Let's go! Green. On second down, Hyde. And he stopped immediately there. No gain that time, but it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Back to throw here. The tight end, Kittle, has it on the left side. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? Red zone opportunity. Let's go. Following the penalty, it's high. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Let's go. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. As I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. Now a play fake here on first down. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Well, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. All right, here we go. 
Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he hauls it in, in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Aldrich Robinson from three yards out. And the Niners have taken the early lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And the 49ers grab a 7-0 lead. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. Pinion now to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And with a marker down, he's up just past the 25-yard line, but I think they're going to be going backwards. Let's check the call. Holding receiving team. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. Turns and hands to Stewart. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Cam's going to run the option right. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. A shotgun snap for Newton. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. Andy Lee, three-time All-Pro, on to punt. Jeremy Curley is deep to return for the 49ers. <laughs> A big boot that time. 57 yards, the official distance. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. And the 49ers getting set to trot out there. And they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say, when you run in the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. Hyde as they begin on the ground. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. 
five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. the gun they'll look to throw pressure comes in he's brought down it's a panther sack julius peppers in there to bring him down for a loss of seven great job defensively i think he was trying to go through his progressions find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it he was on his back so that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning a great job defensively nowhere to go with the football that led to the sack And the Panthers bring in their nickel set as they try to defend here on third down. Five defensive backs. Here we go now. Green, 39. Green. They'll drop to throw. And able to find Curley. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. First down, a run with Hyde. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Let's go! They'll go play action with Hyde. Now it's Hoyer. Muscles him off. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Luke Keekley not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. Is there anything Luke Keekley can't do on the field? Doesn't seem to be the case. <laughs> I mean, we just saw the sack there, right? We know he's terrific in pass coverage, but what I like is his intelligence, the way he gets a defense set, and he actually audible defenses when he sees what the offense is presenting and get them into something else and get them into a better spot. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. All right, here we go. Three, 19. Ah! He'll look to throw. That escapes the sack. And he finds a man with a crossing route. A really good pickup of 28 yards. All right, I'm doing my rudimentary math here. That's his third catch here in the first quarter. I don't know if it's just game plan or he's just finding his way open. Yeah, maybe a little of both. And here comes play number six on this drive. him over and able to break one tackle but then quickly brought down but a nice little game give him nine on the carry that time and they're set up with a second and one if these kinds of lanes are available you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground yeah you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step and that's a big pickup right there on first down Second down, just one yard to go. All right, here we go. Three, 19. They'll set up to throw. 
It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll go down at the 28. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Final 30 seconds of this first quarter, and it's been a quarter dominated by the guys with the football. Backwards. He'll be down at the 30. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Luke Keekley combines speed, intelligence, toughness, puts it all together. It makes plays like one we just saw there. He may not be a big time blitzer, but boy, he knows how to pursue straight ahead and make plays in the run game. snap we hit all zeros as time has run out on the first quarter of play seven nothing is our score we're back to santa clara after this the nfl on ea sports is fueled by gatorade the sports fuel company Second quarter now. Brandon God and Charles Davis with you. It's the 49ers in control of the football, but they face a second and long to start things out. Set up a throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Garrett Selleck, the tight end, was the target. And it's third down. Well, too much oomph. Too much mustard there on that pass. He yeah, really turned it loose, didn't he? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. The Niners on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third down and 12. They'll look to throw here. He shakes him off. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And the lead moves to 10-0. And Charles, they get the field goal. Took him a dozen plays, though. Work with me on this one. You know what I'm about to say, right? Bend, but don't break. That's what came into play here for the defense. 12 plays were run at them. They only gave up three points. In a lot of ways, that's a win for the defense. Punter Pinion now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The 49er defense now heading back out there. They got the stop last time that resulted in a punt, and then it resulted in three for their offense. And this is one time where the defense won't get credit for creating points, but that's exactly what they did. All right, forced them into a punt, turned it over to their offense, and guess what? Points went on the board. Points went on the board, three of them. Now they'll be looking for another stop. Right 
They start on the ground. This is Stewart on first. And Hill running right. There goes Jonathan Stewart. He's at the 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, Carolina. Jonathan Stewart, 75 yards. And the Panthers strike quickly here for six points. Well called, well blocked, and then he just made a great play. That was an athlete going a long way. Yeah, how about the suddenness, too, of just getting there and taking off and going for the defensive guys? Plays like that really hurt. Graham Gano on for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. Gano out to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Let's take a look at Brian Hoyer now as he heads back out there. And yeah, maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Now he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. They go play action here on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Pierre Garçon, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. high and he's gonna lose yardage and be backed up to the 25 it's a loss of two now third down now that play was doomed right from the start and he just about ran into every defender on that one didn't he it felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle The Niners on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third down and 12. They'll look to throw. And going over the middle here to Curley. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. And they'll get 10 there, but it leaves them just short for fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it. And then they could make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. It's 
Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. They'll start the drive with a run by Stewart. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Akilah Witherspoon trying to make his mark in San Francisco as a cornerback. But he has a big picture in mind as well. Eventually wants to be a surgeon when his playing days are over. How about that? That would be quite the transition, right? It's from it's from the NFL to the operating room? It certainly would. Think about it this way. Those hands used for intercepting passes now. Later on, maybe saving lives. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. <laughs> to throw is Newton. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And they'll get him down right around the 11-yard line. It'll be a three-yard gain, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Here's Andy Lee now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Out comes Brian Hoyer and the offense to take over. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. They start the drive with Hyde. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. It's incomplete. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. The Niners on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. He'll drop to throw. Goodwin able to haul it in. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Hoyer to Goodwin, and the Niners have a first down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Here 
Here's Hoyer. And caught by Curley. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. is knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. his way forward here for a good little game. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. Jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Now whistles here, and I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. And yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. And now movement again, and they'll march even further backward. So that'll back him up five. again and that's going to be two in a row and that'll set him back five and here comes play number six on this drive They'll run it now, out of the gun. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. 
Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. The Niners on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and a mile. Here we go now. They're going to look to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it's complete. In the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. Marquise Goodwin, 39 yards. And the 49ers add six to their lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever, there it results in a touchdown. And there's going to be a stoppage here. The booth wants to take another look at this potential touchdown. Now gold for the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. Pinion now to kick this one away. Fozzie Whitaker now on the return. <laughs> and he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, caught at the 21-yard line. And the 49ers defense gets ready here as they trot back out there. They were able to force that three and out. That led to a touchdown. And defenses obviously love three and outs. They want more of that. They created a very short and not too sweet stint for the offense by getting them off the field that fast, but it set up their own offense, gave them a little spark, and they took it downfield and scored. Now the question, can they do it again? Let's see. Play fake to Stewart. It's Newton. It's complete right side to Benjamin. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. We often, with Cam Newton, talk a lot about his legs. Don't forget about that arm. He can throw it on a rope. He can loft it. He's got the touch that's been developed throughout his career. But the big part about just watching him throw it, it seems almost effortless. Seven. 
Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. This is Stewart again. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. I once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. Well, winning one-on-one -on -one battles is always a part of the game, but when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, of one broken tackle, but he didn't get away because the rest of the guys arrived to put him on the ground. From the 50, Newton. And this is going to be incomplete. Here's Andy Lee now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. This one angles out of bounds at a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Let's go. Blue Niner. Blue Niner. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And they'll get him down right at around the 11-yard line. A gain of six there on first. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through, and has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. Here we go now. Green, three, They'll run it. Here's high. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. That man has still got it. Thomas Davis can do it all. Drop in the coverage, rush the quarterback, and, of course, make plenty of tackles. Closing in on 1,000 career tackles and consistent. Last year, 106 tackles. The year before, 105. College safety turned linebacker in the NFL. What a career. Here's Bradley Pinion now. Standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. Fielded just inside the 30. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Panthers will get it here as they take possession. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time.
Newton gives off to Stewart. And a good stiff arm there before he's brought down on a nice little game. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. remain here in the first half. Back with more after this. When halftime rolls around in just a bit, we'll send you to Orlando. You will hear the dulcet tones of Mr. Larry Ridley with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Does dulcet mean good? Yeah, it's just something that broadcasters say. It's got to be good, right? It's got to be you good. You tell me. Well, it's got to be good if Larry's doing it. To throw on second down is Newton. And this is caught. It's Greg Olson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Newton to Olson there for a Carolina first down. Now Newton on first down. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk. They'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. Second down, here's Newton. Caught on the left side by Benjamin. And he'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. And give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. From the red zone now, Newton. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. Well, one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. On second and ten, Newton. And all the way down inside the five to the four and now before this first down play we're going to get a timeout here as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime and welcome back the offensive unit they took the timeout and now they get set to line up as we resume action
Throwing again is Newton. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So they're going to decline that and choose to bring up second down. So did you feel like maybe this is just a mistake that they don't take the penalty yeah, possibly. here? possibly. Either that or they feel like their defense just cannot be moved on very well, and they'd rather go ahead and use the downs. Pass caught at the four. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. Now the Panthers get set, third and goal. And the defense has to account for Cam Newton on this play. Now whistles, flagged down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. That's going to set him back five yards. This offense on third down today, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They're looking at a third and goal here. Again, Newton. And it's caught. Now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. So now off goes Newton and on comes the kicker, Graham Gano from the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And Gano's kick is right through. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17-10. to So it's an old-school extra point, but certainly a disappointment that they couldn't get six. Yeah, when you see 19-yard field goal in the box score, you kind of shake your head. But their head coach decided three was enough. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Brian Hoyer and his 49ers heading back out there. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. Hey, All right, here we go. Ah! Boyer. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Jeremy Curley, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. The effort's always going to be there. Everyone's always going to try and make a catch, but underthrown balls, I think, are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop, break, and come back and get it. Let's go! Green, 
Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. The Panthers are going to take another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. The Niners on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This will be third and 19. The first carry for the Utah man now, it's Joe Williams. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Here's Bradley Pinion now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is fielded at the 27. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And possession will change here with very little time remaining until halftime. We get a look now at the 49ers defense as they get into position. And last time out, they gave up the chip shot field goal, but obviously could have been worse than that. I think they felt pretty good about only giving up three. No doubt about it. Anytime an offense gets into the red zone, the thinking naturally for the defense is, okay, three points. We're going to give up three here, but let's make it no more than that. They met their goal. On the other side, though, the offense, they weren't very happy. No, because there's an opportunity. Once you get to the red zone, you're not thinking about kicking a field goal. You're thinking about how do you get into the end zone. And when you don't, you walk off the field feeling a little bit of failure on that drive. Yeah, who will have the better feeling at the end of this drive? And caught left side, Olsen. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot, and this score will stay right where it is. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Curley's got it complete. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch.
And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. They'll throw now on the final play. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this one is incomplete. So we've hit halftime here in Santa Clara with the 49ers out in front as we will send you eastward to Orlando and Larry Ridley. He's standing by with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Larry. Thanks, Brandon. And welcome to the EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's take a look back at the first half. The 49ers are happy to be in front right now and just want to play two more solid quarters. The Panthers won't panic either. They know they just need to take it one play at a time. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. on second and seven. Keekley's got to take down the QB here. This goes for a loss of nine. First and ten. Stewart's able to get clear of the defense and he'll win the sprint to the end zone. Cutting the deficit to three. Down midway through the second. Here a throw deep down the field is caught and he counts off the seven play drive with a score. As they move out in front, 10-7. Thank you, LR. Appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in corner number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. They go play action here on first down. Shakes off the sack. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. And on second and ten now. They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And heavy contact. He is knocked down hard. That good for 22 and a first down. By the way, partner, that was a 30-year-old running back carrying the ball there. <laughs> Turned 30 back in March, did Stewart. Yeah, I know that people say that you're not supposed to at the age of 30, but Jonathan Stewart, good style, good physicality. He'll continue to run it. Hoping to keep him healthy. Hasn't played a full 16 games since 2011. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. They go back to Stewart on first. Despite the heavy running, he'll be hit and drop shy of the 45. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still. Got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Oh 
Offense staying ahead of the chains here, second and three. Now a 10th carry for Jonathan Stewart. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, and sometimes that just happens. It is the NFL. They will make some plays against you. The Panthers on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and 4. Newton to throw. And that is incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. Here's Andy Lee now. He's been terrific so far. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, yeah. we've, got the de we've, got the, we've got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see what the offense gets done. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. When you're rebuilding, we know you got to hit it big in the draft, but you also want to acquire free agents. They're going to really set the tone for your team. Pierre Garçon had some history with head coach Kyle Shanahan previously. I think that's why they picked him up. He's got great history in this league, of course, starting with the Colts, then the Redskins, now the Niners. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. The Niners on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This is third and ten. Now let's go. Three, 19. They'll look to throw here. They're able to haul it in is Kittle. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. 23 yards on the play. So on that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route offensively, but the defense there, you got to be good with communication, don't you? You certainly do, and it's not something that is really evident when you watch it on the screen, but everyone's talking, communicating, pointing, and it keeps you from chasing receivers because you have a specific zone you have to cover. When a receiver's in your zone and he crosses to another one, you got to let your guy know. They got a completion there, but I like the discipline they showed to stay in their proper areas and then make the tackle. They run high, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. They run it again with Hyde. And some room to maneuver. Carlos Hyde, see you later. Touchdown, 49ers. Carlos Hyde, 56 yards. And the 49ers add on to their lead. Still plenty of 
time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit, get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation, but I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game being on second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. Goal to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And it was capped off by a Carlos Hyde touchdown run. Pinion now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Carolina getting set to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They keep it on the ground again to Stewart. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Just a yard in the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. The Panthers on third down. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. This time it's third and three. From the gun, here's Newton. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. Well, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Here's Andy Lee now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. And let's look at Carlos Hyde now. And as the numbers show, he really wasn't in the mix at the beginning, but they've got him in the rotation now, and it's proved a good move. And that's what happens when you're a good player. There's a lot more attention drawn to you, and it's obvious that they had him in their game plan on defense, not letting him get off to a good start, but he's found a way so far here in the second half. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Here's Hoyer. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. 
So the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Hang on now. Detroit! Detroit! Another tote for the afternoon workhorse. It's high. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. I think we saw some of the best qualities of Carlos Hyde on that run, able to pick up something there, being physical running the football. But I think he's got really good vision and great feet. He's going to be the key to this offense really being revitalized. And the offense lining up first and 10. He'll look to throw. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. This defense can use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Over the middle, and he's got Goodwin complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Now whistles here, and I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Time, getting it to about the 46. Just a yard on the gain there, and that leaves them with 14 yards still to go on third down. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Here we go now. Boom, ah! Now Hoyer. On. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. is the punt team now as this one sent away. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Jonathan Stewart now gearing up to go on offense as he takes the field. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block. 
but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. They'll run it now out of the gun. They'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Second down following the run. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. The Panthers on third down. They're struggling. 0 for 6 thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll try and run it. Here's Stewart. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Personal foul. Face mate. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And now a first down following that long game. Here's Newton. And his throw here's incomplete. Greg Olson was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Second down, they run with Stewart. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The Panthers on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This is third and seven. A shotgun snap for Newton. Gets it to Benjamin. It's caught. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Out of the gun, Newton. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Greg Olson from eight yards out, and the Panthers have got it back to a one-score game. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Gano now to add the extra point. He's got it, and it's 24-17. A drive that time of six plays, and Carolina scores to cap it off.
Gano out to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Now comes Brian Hoyer and the offense to take over. So, Charles, there are the numbers. What's happened here? Defensive adjustments that's caused him to sort of fall off a bit? I think so. That has to happen. You've got to make some changes because in the first half, they were pretty effective. But the second part is sometimes when you're doing really well, you get off your game a little bit. You get off the gas a little. You're like, okay, we've got this thing. And that's not necessarily the case. Maybe right now, someone just needs to tell a joke in the huddle, loosen things up, and get their big guy going again. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And caught by Curley. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Well, they obviously read man coverage their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what do you think. Mean by that? Broke yeah, up. he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. went all the way up to about the 46-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They'll set up a throw. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in and picks up the first down. going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's 49er football here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Let's go! 319! Carry number 20 here for Hyde. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Twisting away. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate.
Now a play fake here on first down. His throw caught at about the five. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Marquise Goodwin, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the 49ers add six to their lead. Gold for the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. Pinion now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they've got something going and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't scoreboard watch. Everyone does it to some extent. But you've got to set it aside right now and just focus on this series. That'll take care of the scoreboard if they punch it into the end zone. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Now a first down throw for Newton. He finds his man, the tight end Olsen. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Operating from the gun. Newton. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. The offense on third down tonight, they've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Throwing again is Newton. And this is going to be incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Eli Harold not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz, 
and takes him down for a loss of nine. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's the guys huh? up front or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. Right, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run. Not the one that's going to break for big yardage. But he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount. And he got it done. Nursing that slim lead. You're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Here we go now. Blue Again, it's high. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Boyer, and able to find Dawson. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Two new 49ers, Hoyer to Garcon for the first. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll look to throw here on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Julius Peppers in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Play fake to Hyde. Now it's Hoyer. <laughs> Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Jeremy Curley, 38 yards. And the 49ers add on to their lead. You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about you know, getting to the next level, right? When we see people get into the zone. This guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on, just carving him up. Four touchdown passes, carving him up his right. Seems like everything he throws is going to be a completion and going in the end zone. Gold to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive spanned five plays, and it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco.
The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Yeah, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. Yeah, on to the field. Here come the Panthers. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. Mm -hmm. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. <laughs> so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. On first down, Newton. It's complete right side to Benjamin. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. first down Benjamin with it over the middle and this time he's able to take it down to the 42 the completion good for three and it's second down you got the big lead defensively willing to give him that underneath stuff right and this is why you work on your tackling tackle him after the catch inbounds keep the clock running just go ahead and bleed the game out that way To throw on second down is Newton. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. So he can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard. Maybe from you. I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. Right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Throwing on third down, Newton. Cam fighting, he lost the football, it's out. And fortunately, he's able to reel it back in, but it's gonna go down as a big loss here on the play. Well, that was a big oops right there, but how about his ability to correct it? Loses the football, able to get it back himself. Yeah, bounced right back on it, keeps possession. Slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. Ron Rivera, the gambling type, but he comes up empty here. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. Well, they've clearly made a conscious decision here to be more aggressive in the late stages of this game here in the second half. And I get it. In this situation, you know, if you want to be aggressive out near midfield, you feel good about your defense maybe, or just, hey, I thought I had a proper play call. But how about the guys that just stopped them? How good do they feel right now? Hey, right, you want to go for it here? We shut you down. They're over on the bench right now feeling great. Give running right, it's high. 
And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. On second down, Hyde shedding through the defense. And he'll take this one down to the 36. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Doesn't matter who you're rooting for in this game, the effort of the man with the football getting away from one and trying to turn forward and get some yardage, I really liked what he did there. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Here's Hoyer. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So it's an empty possession. And as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. And now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon. So apparently, neither guy is immune. Getting set to go again, we get a peek at Kelvin Benjamin as he heads back out there now. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Newton on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. He was looking for the connection with Devin Funches. And it's second down. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. On second and ten, Newton. A dump off here to Stewart. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Four yards on the pickup, and they're going to have a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. The Panthers on third down. Just a 20% success rate at 2 of 10. This will be third and six. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. Take Carradine in there to drop him for a four-yard loss, and it'll be fourth down. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. They snap it to Newton. Taking a shot for Samuel. And he's got his man. It's Samuel. Touchdown, Carolina. A big play there. 57 yards, and the Panthers, they're able to draw a bit closer. 
Wow, talk about a big fourth down conversion for the score defensively. How do you let that happen? I think you start with the offense and you give them credit for going for it and having that type of, well, let's face it, audacity. But defensively, I think you're right on target, partner. There's no way something like that's supposed to happen in that situation. You're supposed to be able to shut that down and get the ball back for your own team. Instead, they give up not just a big play, but a touchdown. And the lead will be cut down to 14. A drive there of just four plays. And the end result, a Panthers touchdown. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the 49er hands team does its job. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. here on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. here to his running back and he's going to get this one down to the 45 they'll get four back there on the run but now they're looking up at a third and 12 situation i like a guy who understands the situation i also like a guy who you look at him and you say that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say guess what you drop this one you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week <laughs> maybe flash back to high school or college carrying it around campus right the old gauntlet drill right anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach he's in big trouble time for a break we'll come back and see this one out after this so it's 49er football here as we get you reset They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. On third down, here's Williams. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Here's Bradley Pinion now. 
as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Charles. Not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They scored the last time out. They feel good about themselves. They feel like their game plan is now in effect. They know how to attack and what plays they want to put together. But they've got to keep it moving in the right direction because, as you did note, they are down on the scoreboard. On first down, it's Newton. And caught left side, Olsen. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. On first and 10, Newton. It's hauled in by Shepard. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. On first down, Newton. And his throw is incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. To throw again. Newton. It's caught right side, Dixon. And he's brought down. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. On first and 10, Newton. This will be caught inside the 10. He got 29 yards that time. First down now, but that clock rolling. Newton throwing again. Trying to lob it in there, but it's incomplete. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. And was this game announced as a night game prior to it? Maybe his rhythm is confused. just off. He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. And here comes play number six on this drive. And looked like some movement there. Let's get the call. So that one will be accepted. To the air again, Newton. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. A great move in there, but it only takes him to the seven. He's dropped there. That catch good for eight, but still, it's third and goal now. Now Newton on third and goal. And almost intercepted. Would have been a huge pick in the end zone, but as it stands, that brings up fourth. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. Now whistles. Flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. Foster, offense.
The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. Again, Newton. And this is caught. So it's a late touchdown, but maybe too late. Still a little time left on the clock, however. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one to five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one to five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, uh, yeah. yeah, you know. It doesn't you kinda, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And Carolina scores to cap it off. So with 13 on the clock, it's time for an onside kick. And it's the 49ers who recover it, and that ought to just about do it. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. The Panthers are going to take another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. Well, I know at points in this when you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball <laughs> parks, right? Seeing the 14 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one.
So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. And we'll get ready for the trek back to the city as we say so long from Santa Clara. Oh, what a great city it is. We're going to have a blast tonight.